Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video. I'm Rob, and today I shall be attempting to take this Ford Anglia from shabby to shiny. Not just shiny, but one of my all-time favourite movies and the whole franchise uh, for Harry Potter. And I've got a couple of these cars, and I wanted to do a basic restoration and a custom, but yeah, today's the custom. So we start by drilling down the centre of the post, remove the flange, and tap that hole. Uh, just one rivet on this one, obviously not uh, forgetting your lubrication. You don't want to snap the piece in the hole, and always using my very handy vice. Here is the car in question. Look at that, the face on that. I imagine I've got a few viewers, you know those ones that always like to uh, give a thumbs down on my videos, you know who you are, I don't mind really, but I reckon you've got the same face as this car. But Ford Anglia, made in England by Lesney, number 7. I've uh, pre-drilled this one, a little screw in the back there. So let's take it apart and see what we're playing with. And I tell you what, she's in there good and proper. So off she pops. And it's just held in by a little tab at the front. But actually the base of this car is in super condition. And I'm not going to take it apart and restore that bottom. I'm going to just clean it up and leave that as is. But I see we've got another little rivet here. Of course there's no interior to this car. Uh, to hold up the wind, uh, the windscreen, so um, it is kind of uh, got the tab in there. So I'll drill that out. Um, just kind of pointing out that the Harry Potter car has a white roof and a white stripe, so they'll be coming on there today. So in my foot-long hot dog jar, just pour in some boiling water and add a couple of teaspoons of caustic soda. Now today you will see how fast this really can be. So I'm going to show you this in real time. How long has it been? 10 seconds? 15 seconds? 20 seconds? All the paint is gone. You can see the paint at the bottom of the jar there. Clean. This is why I use caustic soda. And probably less than two minutes afterwards, here it is. Not a single speck of paint remains. Just oxidization. Of course, caustic soda is very dangerous to use. You know, use your, your kind of your precautions, but if you're sensible, you know, it's the you can't beat it. Shiny, shiny. So we'll now pay our attention to the uh, plastic windscreen there, and also just chuck the base in just to give it a little, uh, little spruce up. And then afterwards, the windscreen there goes into the pledge solution. Couple of little taps but that looks as good as new now. And then the base, like I say, it's nice, I like it. The tow hook was broken, 
so I'm just going to chop it off and there it is and using my black paint pen just roughly go over it doesn't need to be perfect the rest of the base is not so and plus it's hidden and it's underneath you know I kind of see this as a bit of a an honest repair or a an honest modification not trying to hide it just cover it a little bit so it, it's not so sticky outy which I think is definitely a word and then turning attention to the axle ends there they look like little hubcaps and I use my silver paint pen and then just go over all four wheels lovely job so the remainder of the car you can see now lovely buffed up so it will be given the Tamiya Fine Surface Primer in white. I love this stuff. I've probably got three or four cans of it now, so that should keep me going for a couple of months. And I'll give one single decent coat. Get it on there wet. And to be honest, it dries within minutes. Whenever I paint, I hold my castings over a radiator, so it bakes it on even quicker. But you can see in the reflection of the light there, gorgeous. And like I say, this is probably less than 10 minutes later. It's dry. I'm going on now with my uh, colour. I used uh, my Viejo white, bit of blue. I also put in a tiny little bit of green. I've done a bit of Google research, kind of what's the correct colour for this car, and I think there seemed to be a few variations. Some of them were more of the lighter blue, some of them were a little bit darker, some of them were even had a bit of a greeny tinge to it. So I just created a colour that I liked. It's similar, it might not be exactly the same but this is my interpretation please don't hate me because it is not the correct shade of light to medium blue <laughs> I know some of you will though so here it is after probably two or three coats and this stuff dries into like a, a matte finish um, but I've taped it off here uh, we're going to be painting a white roof and then the white stripe down the side I use um, Tamiya masking tape which doesn't give me any problem. Uh, one of the first cars I ever taped off was a Porsche 911 Turbo and it seemed to affect the paint underneath. Bearing in mind this blue I left for probably 15 minutes, 20 minutes tops before taping this up and there is and there's no there's no issue with the paint whatsoever. It's perfect. So after it's dried, I pulled all the tape off, and then I'm gonna turn to all of my little paint pens. And as you can see here, after a little coating of lacquer, that looks gorgeous. There's the base there. And the windscreen. So as a little reminder of what she looked like. And the result.
super happy with this one. Considering the custom work that has gone into it, i.e. taping off for the white roof and stripes, plus all the little details, I would say this car took me, in total, an hour and a half. 90 minutes. I wish I could have that every day. I love it. But anyway, I want to take the opportunity to thank all of my patrons. And thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you'll stick around for the next one.